Hey everyone. So welcome back. Today I'm on my way to the store. I got a phone call today and something I ordered for the shop just came in. I'm really really excited to pick this thing up. I bought a lift for the shop. That's why I've been pouring those concrete pads for. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit that little subscribe button. Stick around, check out some other videos, see what's coming up. But back to what's going on is I'm on my way. I bought the, the lift from Home Depot. They actually sell lifts. So I, I was very tempted and I went ahead and did it. So I'm on the way to the store now to pick it up and I can't wait to get this thing home and actually start putting it together and set it up. So we're on the way there now and I'll turn this back on when we're at the store. Turn it up. Hey everyone, I'm back. I couldn't go into Home Depot and record. The uh, turns out they freak out a little when you start recording, talking to them. Who knew? <laughs> uh, so there is my jack. It is the Quick Jack. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll take a look at it. So it is called Quick Jack, and the model I have is the. I have the BL5000 SLX. So that's basically what it'll look like when it's up on the car. I'm not going to bore you with a whole lot of the details. I'm going to open this thing and I'll show you all the parts set up. Or not set up, but I'll show you all the parts out. So I'm unpacking this and I just, I got to show you guys. So that's what it's starting to look like. There's three boxes. The one box, that looks like that box number three. There'll be three boxes, whatever. That box will have your instructions, your fittings, your lines, a bunch of rubber blocks. I'm, I've watched other videos of people unpacking these things and I don't remember them having that many. But, uh, and here's the power unit. Seems pretty good. Got the up and down. So, but what I wanted to show you is, I have to say to Quick Jack, you guys are getting really good at your packing. This is how it comes. You lift the top off of it and it's got wood on the bottom. So it's inside the box and they've got plywood. So the whole thing sits on it, but not only that, so it sits inside a foam on top of the plywood. So let me show you. And it's strapped down really well. So you take the wood off and it looks like this. And then you'll remove that piece of foam. That's pretty good packing, guys. Hats off to you. I'm very impressed with your packing. One note, I'm kind of weirded out, but it's also really funny. Every one of these boxes, especially that one, I don't know if it's just a material these are made of or something about the box. I open it up, all three of them, and it smells like cigarettes. Like somebody was smoking it inside the box. So I just had to, I kept thinking of the movie Forrest Gump. It's like, she tastes like cigarettes, Lieutenant Dan. I mean, other, other than a box smell like cigarettes, you know, hey, I don't care if the guy smokes that pack that he did a damn good job. I'm gonna take him out and we'll keep going. So everything is assembled. So this is the pump. Yeah, it's actually another day. So this is the pump. I've already hooked up the lines. Here's the remote. It's already, you know, pre-wired as you saw before. And I've got everything actually hooked up. So I'm gonna show you guys a side video view. I'm gonna lift up. This is a very dirty Lexus LS 400. It's a 1992. So we're gonna lift this one up with these jacks. And I'm basically, I'm gonna lift it up and show you what it looks like, how high it is. So this is gonna be a side view of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the back, grab the remote and lift it. And you can actually watch watch it go up and then I'll show you you know 
how high it is with me under it. So here we go up. Now this thing is extremely freaking quiet. Like I'm super impressed how quiet this thing is. You can barely hear the motor. lifted up and I'll show you guys what it looks like you know as far as everyone measures so if you measure it out of the car so the bottom of the car is about 18 inches so and if you have noticed which I'm probably dirty now um, I did it on gravel it didn't say not to do it on gravel. I was kind of curious. It says put it on a level surface. It's on a level surface. And this is actually like, this is the fourth car I've used already. This video is a little spread out over a couple weeks. So uh, this jack is awesome. I've used it on this surface a couple times now and it works great. So if you're wondering, I couldn't find videos where it looked like somebody, you know, I know this is silly. I'm a big guy. But you have enough room to lay under it. I mean, you've got a good... You're not going to be, you know, with the car right here anymore with a jack stand. So you're looking at at least a foot, almost a foot of spread between you and the car. So to me, that was awesome. And that's it. I mean, the car is great. I'm going to lower it down and show you guys real easy to lower it um, it's an awesome product I've used it quite a bit so far and so far no issues so let's go ahead and lower it down so before I lower it real quick so the car is held up by this post right here and it's held in I mean it's it bolted all the way through it's not going anywhere and it's got these little latches down here so to lower it you'll lift it and you heard that, it's got a little flap. I don't know if you can see that. And you put it back down and it'll ride on that flap. I've already done the other side. So once you've done that, you can then lower the car. Oh, look at that. Whee! And it goes down pretty quick, just like any other jack would or lift or whatever you're going to use. And that's it. Don't run it over. Pull it out. So I've literally been using it, pull it out of the car about a foot, drive the car out. I backed this one in earlier to do some work to it. So I backed it in, slid these under it, aligned them, and lifted it. So in the end, guys, would I recommend this quick jack? So let me go back around here to the pump. You can see the, the lift is not sitting on that. It actually sits at an angle, so it's, you know, let me show you. It, it moves around. It's not pinching or nothing like that. That's how they designed it. So would I buy this? Which I already bought it, so it's kind of too late now. But would I recommend it? Yes highly highly recommend it and i can say that because i've owned it for well for about three weeks now <laughs> i've had it for about three weeks and i've had about three different cars on it already and i've gone up and down quite a few times already even this time just to show you guys for fun but yeah so yeah i would definitely recommend it uh you know when you got a car like this you need to work on all the time of course you need a jack and not all of us can afford like a two or three four thousand dollar uh, lift so the quick jack is a good solution if you have this is why i was actually going to put it on let me walk over here 
So I poured these concrete pads you guys saw before. So there is the big, big project car. I put it up on there. I actually had to lift up on there. I had it on the lift, that on the lift already. And it's freaking awesome on there. But, stupid alternator died. You guys will see that video too. So, back to the jack thing. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Quick jack, you guys did a great job. Highly recommend you. Your product's pretty damn good. Uh, and if you guys aren't a subscriber, hit that little subscribe button. Stick around. Find out other stuff I'm doing around here like that. Yeah. There's always something broken in my shop. Unfortunately. But it's great for you guys. That's why I'm here. To entertain you guys with my misery. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.